Guess we're in the clear now. Hope those other two made it to the canyon all right. Where's Larry? I don't know. Well, I'm going back and see if I can find him. Ah, uh, you don't. If he's been picked up, there's nothing you can do about it. Listen, I'm not running out on my brother. You're not going back and get picked up and then shoot your mouth off about the rest of us. Yeah, well, just try and stop me. Hill! He always was too soft for this outfit. Come on. Nasty fall you took, son. Let me alone. I'm only trying to help you. I don't need your help. I can make out. Well, wait a minute. Maybe you got me mixed up with somebody else. Who are you? Rocky Lane. What's your name? None of your business. That's right. Here. Take a drink of this. It'll do you good. Go ahead. Feel better? I guess so. Get to your feet. Stay where you are, kid. Wait a minute, Sheriff. This boy just had a nasty fall. Yeah? Well, he's in for a worse one. Who are you? My name's Rocky Lane. Why? What are you doing around here? Well, sir, I'm on my way to see a friend, Nugget Clark. Oh? Well, from the company you keep, I could take you for an outlaw. How's that? He belongs to that Black Hills outlaw gang. You sure about that? He's awful young. Yeah? Well, his outfit was trying to hold up a freight wagon when we ran him off. We'd have caught him, too, if this kid hadn't been holding fresh horses for him. Come on, you're going to jail. I'm getting out of here. I'm going home. Who are your parents? I ain't got any. Then where's your home? That's my business. You ain't gonna get nothing out of me. We'll see. You better go along with the sheriff. My brother will get me out of this. Who is your brother? You better do what the sheriff says. I'll see you in town later. Come on. I gotta round up the rest of my men. I didn't get your name, young fella. Larry. All right, Larry. See you later. Glad to see you. How is everything? Terrible. Just like I told you in my letter, them ding-dang outlaws have sure been running us ragged. Well, just the other day, they got another one of my wagons with a whole load of rifles. And then another one with a $50,000 shipment of gold bars. I tell you, Rocky, this sort of thing keeps up. There ain't gonna be nothing left of the town. Or me neither. The Black Hills gang, huh? Yeah, Black is right. If we just knew what happened to the stuff, we can't even find a trace of it. Man, I'm sure glad you're here to give us a hand. Maybe they'll let up when they find out there's a marshal around. We don't want them to find that out just yet. We might do better if I work undercover. Maybe you're right. I ran into one of their gang out on the road coming in. Sure hope you put daylight through him. No, he was just a young boy, 15 or 16. The sheriff came along and took him to jail. Good. That's a start anyways. Well, maybe it is and maybe it isn't. He said he didn't have any parents. Boys like that get steered wrong sometimes. Yeah, maybe so. Wait a minute. Maybe we ought to try to help him. Yeah, but how? I'll explain on the way to the sheriff's office. Come on. Come 
Try and get off of that horse. What is it, Bart? The sheriff just brought Larry in. Larry? If that kid talks... That's what I was thinking. Get a couple of the boys meet me back here. Yeah. Now you better start talking, young fellow. I've got ways to make you. You killed my brother and I'll make you pay for it. Now look here, kid. I told you I don't know how it happened. But I didn't shoot him. You're a liar. Are you listening to me? Howdy, Sheriff. Hello, Nugget. I reckon you already met Rocky Lane. Yes, we have. Sure. How's the youngster? Ornery. Keeps telling me that I killed his brother, Clay Stewart. You mean the fellow you just brought in? Yeah, I found him shot in the back. You can't blame him for feeling bad about that. No, not even if his brother was an outlaw. But he keeps blaming me for it. I just ain't helping to get any information out of him. What are you charging him with? Being in with that gang of cutthroats. He's just a kid, Sheriff. Maybe it's not his fault. That's right. Maybe he just got off to a bad start. He don't look like an outlaw to me. Why don't you give him the benefit of the doubt? It might do him a lot more good than keeping him locked up. You mean turn him loose? In a way, I do. Why don't you parole him to Nugget here? He and his niece could give him a good home, and it might change some of his ideas. Yeah, I mean, Sally would be glad to take him in. I don't know. I'll take full responsibility. It uh, might make a man out of him instead of an outlaw. All right, Nugget, I'll take a chance. But you're taking on a big job. Let me worry about that. You can come out now, kid. I'm paroling you to Nugget Clark here. You I have to go with him? Yes, and if you ask me, you're a lucky kid. Come on, son. Me and Rocky are right out to the house with you. It'll be a lot better than staying locked up in a jail cell, Larry. Come on. I hope you know what you're doing. I think I do. Got Jake and Sam waiting outside. Who's that man with Larry and Nugget Clark? I never saw him before. Looks like they're taking Larry someplace. That kid better keep his mouth shut. Oh, you don't know much. Not about me. But he knows enough to identify you and the others. Maybe you better go after them and get Larry. All right.
so free with that gun of yours? I was shooting at that kid we were riding with. He's one of the Black Hills bunch. What are you, a lawman? No, but I'll shoot any outlaw I see, and the law would thank me for it. <laughs> Meet Sally. You're going to like her. Of course. We'd be glad to have him. Besides, we need another man around here to help Uncle Nugget. We sure do. Just make yourself right at home. Consider yourself one of the family. How long do I have to stay here? So long, I hope, Larry. You betcha. I think Larry would feel better if he got cleaned up, had a bath. Sure he would. I'll show you where it is and try and dig you up some clean clothes. My cousin left some things here last summer. They ought to fit you. Come on. Come on. That coat's gonna need some breaking. It ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, a decent home and a little time is all he needs. I hope so, Rocky. But why were them ding-dang outlaws a shooting at him? Well, they're probably afraid he'll talk too much. And that's just what he's gonna do. He could tell us plenty. Now, wait. Don't go asking him a lot of questions. He's still loyal to those friends of his brothers. And that's a good sign. Loyal to a bunch of skunks? <laughs> I don't figure in my book. Loyalty is still loyalty, Nugget. It shows he's got some good stuff in him. He'll come around all right. Maybe so. But you better keep your fingers crossed. So we got out of there fast. Nice work. You certainly need a little shooting practice. Well, I wouldn't miss if I had another crack at him, I'll tell you that. Well, you're going to get one. He's out at Nugget Clark's. The sheriff told me he'd paroled him to Nugget. Well, Jake and me will go out there tonight and take care of him. Oh, no, you bring him back here. I want to find out what he's told them. And then you can have your shooting practice. Get that crate into town in the morning so it can make the noon shipment. Son, them's the kind of vittles that stick to your ribs. Why, in 30 days, you'll be two inches taller and big and strong like me. <laughs> wait, wait, let me sink your teeth into that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Sure good pie, Miss Sally. Thank you. Of course, it did take her quite a spell to get the hang of it. But I finally learned it. Oh, Uncle Nugget, you don't know a pie crust from a piece of old, stale bread. <laughs> I do want to eat it. Well, you feel better, Larry? Guess so. You'll feel a lot better after you have a good night's sleep. I gotta get back. Back? You mean to those friends of your brothers? They tried to kill you this afternoon, Larry. Well, they, they were just trying to get me loose. You think so, huh? Besides, if I don't get back, they'll whale the daylights out of me. Oh, no, they won't. We'll see to that. You don't know Bart. Larry, you're staying right here with us. Now, that's the sheriff's orders. You'll be perfectly safe here. Of course you will. Now, how about hitting that pillow, huh? Come on, Larry. I'll show you to your room. Good night, fella. Good night. Good night. He 
said Bart. Name mean anything to you? No, don't recollect it. Well, as soon as he knows we're his friends, he'll want to help us. I hope so, Rocky. I got a bed down blackjack. Well, did he like his room? It's pretty hard to tell. He's certainly all mixed up. Uh, don't worry, he'll be all right. Awfully sorry for him, though. I'm going to have a talk with him in the morning. Now, that's a good idea. What was that? Maybe I'd better have that talk with him tonight. Is there a lantern handy? One on the back porch. Rocky will straighten them out. I hope so. You'd do better with some light. Getting out of here. I like night riding too. You always sleep a lot better when you come back. I ain't coming back. I see. Where are you going? I don't know. Larry, stop saddling that horse and listen to me. A fellow don't get too many chances in this life of ours. When he's offered one all free and clear, he's smart if he grabs it. I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Nugget and Sally have taken you in like a straight pup. They've offered you a decent home, a good way to live. Even a stray pup has got sense enough to like a setup like that. But why are they doing it? They just want me to tell what I know about the gang. Oh, so that's what's bothering you. All right, I'll make a deal with you. The first time anybody asks you to betray your loyalty to those, those friends of yours, you're free to go and nobody will try to stop you. Fine as squealer. I know you're not. That's one of the things I like about you. What do you say, is it a deal? I bet you haven't had cooking like that in a long time. I ain't never had it. Want me to take that saddle off for you? I can get it. Hey, there's a light in the barn. How do you figure in this? What's it to you? Never mind about me. But there's one thing you ought to get straight. These outlaws have busted this town wide open. They've practically ruined everybody, including Nugget. If they keep it up, he's apt to lose everything. Just a minute. Set that lantern down. Easy. Now drop your gun belt. Still hunting outlaws? We come for the kid, we're taking him home. Suppose he doesn't want to go with you. I don't. You go with us all right. No, I won't. I know what you want to do to me. We just want to take care of you, Larry, now that your brother's dead. We've always been good to you, you know that. So you just come along with us. <laughs>
tried to help him, but I missed. I missed too, Larry. I lost him in that canyon a couple of miles south of here. Too bad. Larry was just telling us what happened in the barn. <laughs> I'd sure like to have seen that hay hit him. <laughs> you still think they weren't trying to kill you, Larry? You can tell the sheriff they're holed up in a cabin at the other end of that canyon. Now we're getting somewhere. You mean Larry is. Rocky's right. Well, what in blazes do you think I meant? Good morning, Miss Sally. Morning. Larry up yet? Yes. Yeah. He's in eating breakfast. I hope you gave him some of your flapjacks. <laughs> I did. Where are you two going so early? Well, I'm heading for town. He's heading for trouble. Oh, uh, it's not that bad. It's worse. He's going out to see if he can find that cabin Larry told us about. Wouldn't take me with him, so I told him he ought to take the sheriff and the whole dang posse. Will you stop worrying? I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, if they don't shut him for you. Well, I'll be back for supper, but don't count on Rocky. Maybe he won't be eaten at all. Where's Rocky going? Out to look for that cabin. Alone? Yes. I told him to tell the sheriff. Well, they keep guards in that canyon. He'll never get through alive. Why'd you come out here? I, I was trying to catch up with you. I knew they had guards in the canyon. Well, you were crazy to come out here alone. Thanks, Larry. We'll round up your horse and have a look at that cabin. The Rocky. Do they hide their loot? Oh, I don't know. Keep watching that window.
You're going back to the ranch. I'm riding into town to talk to Nugget. Okay. And on the 5th, they jump one of my freight wagons a few miles east of Oak Flat. Then on the 9th, they got another one over near Red Rock. Red Rock. It's kind of odd they never hit any of your wagons going out of town. Yeah, that's the funny part of it. It's just the ones coming in. Maybe that's because we ain't got nothing valuable to ship out. Well, it's a sure thing they can't get rid of their loot around here. Like that shipment of gold they grabbed. They'd have to send it out. That's right. <laughs> They'd have a heck of a time trying to cash a bar of gold in this town. Do you always know what the shipments are your freight wagons haul out of here? Most of the time? Why? I'm just wondering if they could be recreating their stolen stuff and sending it out through you. Huh? They better not try it. I saw evidence of it out in their cabin. If that's what they're doing, it could explain why none of your outgoing wagons have been attacked. What I tell you, Rocky, I know most everybody that ships anything out of here and... Wait a minute. A couple of strangers did come in here with a crate marked tools. Was it heavy? About 200 pounds. Just about what that gold would have weighed. That's right. When did you send it? This noon. Wagon left a little while ago. Maybe I can catch it. What for? Show me the road it took on the map and I'll explain. Well, this one here. I thought you was one of them outlaws. Wait a minute. Aren't you a friend of Nuggets? That's what he thinks. Get down. Now head toward town and keep going. Jack. You mean that Rocky stole our wagon? He sure did. God dang it, then he must be an outlaw. I thought he was a friend of yours. So did I. But he was just presuming on me. That's what he was doing. Well, get your horses, men. We'll split up and see if we can find him. Well, I sure hope you do. <laughs> Figured him for an outlaw. All that gold. Yeah. The kid could have told him about it. He didn't know. We got to get that wagon back. We'll get it.
working fine, Rocky. Good. The gold was there, all right. I put the wagon in your barn. Ah, that's one shipment that didn't get away with, but you better go easy. The sheriff in the whole town is on the lookout for you. That's what I want. The outlaws are sure to hear about it, and they'll be looking for me, too. I aim to let them find me. I hope it works. Me, too. See you later. Good luck, Rocky. Him your guns. I'm here to talk business with you. Never mind the talk. All we want is that gold. If you don't listen to my proposition, you'll never see it. All right, come on. We'll talk it over. spot to make a deal. I think I am. I know where the gold is and you don't. Keep going. I'm kind of new around here. You got connections I need. Put me in touch with a man who peddles your stuff and I'll split with you 50-50. Uh-uh. The boss don't like that kind of a split. He better if he wants to cut himself in on this 50,000. Well, you sure had us fooled. And that nugget Clark, too. That's my business, to fool people. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll ride back into town and see what the boss got to say about it. Jake, keep him company. So if you see him around here, you just let us know fast. The sheriff, how... Better be getting back now, Miss Sally. Goodbye. What did he want? He told me Rocky stole one of Uncle Nugget's freight wagons. Stole it? Yes. He said the whole town's out looking for him. He must be an outlaw. I don't believe it. I don't see how he could be. He's not, I tell you. I know outlaws. I've lived with them. Where are you going? I'm going to find Nugget Clark and see what's going on. I'd better tell you about it. I'd like to know how much Lane has found out about our setup. If he's on the level, we may have to make a deal with him. He sure had me fooled. That's not very hard to do. Before I see him, I'm going to have a talk with Nugget Clark. Wait for me at the fork in the road out of town. <laughs> Anything I can do for you? I have to tell him something right away about Rocky Lane. You mean the man who stole the freight wagon? He didn't steal it. I knew it all along. The wagon's in Nugget Clark's barn right now. You saw it there? Yeah. We gotta let him know he ain't an outlaw before he gets killed. Yes, of course. Well, you come along with me, son. Do you know where Mr. Clark is? I think we can find him. Well, let's hurry. Hello, kid. So you're working with them, too? No, they're working for me. It's all right, Bart. I know where the wagon is. 
Well, Larry, we're going to have a nice welcome home for you. Ice cream cake to work. Well, let's go. Nice little scheme you cooked up, Lane, but I'm afraid it won't work. You see, Larry was good enough to tell me where you hid the wagon. Honest, Rocky, I didn't know. I was just trying to help. Shut up before I give you a slug in the back like I did that no good brother of yours. You pig. <laughs> Welcome home, kid. Sit down. Larry was afraid you'd get killed. And he was right. We don't need him anymore now that we know where that wagon is. We better make sure the gold's still there. Then we can take care of them. Tie them up. Sorry, Rocky. It's all right, kid. Nugget's probably in on this, too. Maybe the sheriff. So we're washed up around here. Oh, no, we'll still do all right if we get that gold out of here. If it's still there. If it isn't, well, we'll just have to make Mr. Lane do a little talking. You stay here with them, Jake, and we'll get the rest of the boys. If you don't hear from us in an hour, you'll know we've got the gold and are heading out of town. Then you can finish your job and meet us on the Valley Road. Come on, Bart. and the boys go on to the barn and see about the wagon. I'll take care of the old man. It's Mr. Gaines and a lot of men. Now, I wonder what they were. Hello, Mr. Gaines. Hello, Nugget. Say, what are those men doing out there? They're getting that stolen wagon. What in tarnation? You and that lane have interfered with my plans a little bit too much. Your plans? Then you're the man. Now that we understand each other, just don't make any more trouble. And me thinking you was an honest friend of mine. Why, you dirty low there down. There are other things that pay off better than honesty. You'll find out different, Gaines. It's all right, boss. The gold is still there. Good. What are you going to do with her? Take her along in the wagon. She'll be good protection for us in case we have any trouble. Why, you dirty low down. No! I don't know it. Can you go to town and get the sheriff and have him bring a posse out there? Sure, Rocky. Take it out the valley road. We'll be following you at a distance. Just act like you're driving on a regular run.
Sergeant. What happened to you? Oh, I'm all right. They got the wagon and they took Sally with them. What? We got to do something. Don't worry, we will. Well, let's get going. You stay here. Larry's bringing the sheriff and a posse. When they get here, send them out to the Valley Road fast. Right. Watch out for Sally. <laughs>
<laughs> man, I was mad. To think it had to be me. What's bothering you? Oh, Rocky, I get the jitters when I think of how I shipped out all that stuff myself. Well, sir, it looks like you're an accessory to the crime. Me? Uh, I ain't no such thing. Right? But I think I can get you out of it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Sheriff told us they rounded up the whole band. And got back practically everything they stole. But don't forget to give Larry a lot of credit. You were sure a big help, son. You won't forget what you promised me, will you, Rocky? Not on your life. What's going on here? Well, I just promised Larry that he could join up with me at the county seat after he finished his school. We're going to make a good lawman out of him. That's wonderful. You're a girl darn right it is. But I'll hate to see him leave. Well, don't worry, it won't be for a year or two. Well, I gotta be on my way. So long. Good luck to you. So long, Rocky. Bye, Rocky. 